With so much going on every day, keeping track of your schedule can be challenging. That is why I use Google Calendar, a free and easy to use app for tracking my meetings with clients. In this video, I will be showing you how I use Google Calendar across all my devices. That's my iPhone, iPad, Samsung Tab, and MacBook. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Almost everyone has a Google account and most clients naturally just prefer using Google Calendar. That is why it has become our go-to calendar for meetings with anyone outside our team. It's great because Google Calendar integrates with almost any calendar you pick up. That is why on my iPad, even though I use Apple Calendar, I still access my Google Calendar events. To do that, I have added my Google Calendar in the app settings under Calendar. Apple Calendar syncs my Google Calendar events and I can manage them from here without ever going to Google Calendar. I prefer using the weekly view for scheduling and adjusting my events in Apple Calendar. Each time I create a new event, I make sure my Google Calendar is selected. It's easy to switch between accounts in Apple Calendar. That's why I love using the app. I have set my default calendar in settings to my Google account. That way, even when I forget to select the right account, all my new events automatically go to my Google Calendar. New meetings that I add here in Apple Calendar appear in Google Calendar instantly. As you will see, all my Google Calendar events are green not just on my iPad, but across all my devices that I will be showing you. That's because I don't only use Google Calendar. Internally, our creative team uses Apple Calendar to plan our creative calendar. I also have a family calendar for family meetings and important events. So it's important that I can tell my Google Calendar apart at a glance on any device that I pick up, which is why I have a consistent color. Given my setup, it didn't make sense for me to use the Google Calendar app, but I have it on my iPad just to study it for you guys. Congratulations to these 10 lucky winners. Please contact us on social media, that is Instagram or Facebook to claim your promo code. We hope that Notful will improve your digital note-taking experience. And if you don't know where to begin, we have an ongoing course for Notful on our other channel, Paperless Humans. And thank you very much to everyone who participated. My iPhone setup is similar to what I have on the iPad, but it means I can access my schedule on the go. I have added my Google account so I don't miss any important events when I'm away from the desk. I can also make any arrangements if I need to without having to do it when I get back to the office. And as I already mentioned, my Google Calendar events are green. Subconsciously now, I associate green on my calendar with client meetings, naturally. I've also set my default calendar to my Google account. As a general rule, if I must create an event or a meeting on the go, 
it's usually for a client because my family and team we usually know I don't have a lot of pressure from them to create events on the go. So that's two of my devices set up and syncing. On the Samsung Galaxy Tab S Ultra, this name is a mouthful. I love using the native app. That's another general rule I use. If a native app works, I tend to not look for third-party apps for my work. When I do use third-party apps, they're usually one-time purchases. And on that rare occasion, I will use a subscription. But we've discovered as a team that for every subscription app, there's probably a one-time purchase or free alternative that does the same thing, if not better. So, like on the iPad, I have added my Google account to the Samsung calendar and made the events green. I like using Samsung calendar to brainstorm ideas because it lets me write on the monthly calendar. That is the only reason I use this calendar. And because of this, it's easily my favorite calendar at the moment. I wish my handwritten notes could sync across all the devices, which sadly, it doesn't. There is no native app for Google Calendar on Mac OS, which is why I use the web app instead. I can still set up my account on Apple Calendar, as I've done on all my other devices, but Google Calendar in Chrome has so many functions and settings that it makes more sense to use it there. To quickly demonstrate how the setup works, let me add an event on my MacBook and then show it and modify it on all the devices I have shown you. I will first show this event on my favorite app, Samsung Calendar. Here I will add a small handwritten comment that will not show on all my devices, sadly. But then I will also make a small text comment from Samsung. Now let's go to my iPhone. You can see the comment I've made on my Galaxy tab. Let me add an iPhone comment and update the event, then see the changes on the iPad. As is to be expected, on the iPad, I can see the event created on the MacBook and both the Samsung and iPhone updates. To complete the cycle, let me change something on the iPad and see how the modified task looks on the MacBook. And le cycle est complet. <laughs> I really wanted to say that. So that's a full cycle. And I really just love the setup because there are no duplicates for my meetings. Everything syncs in real time. And I don't ever overlap any events because all my meetings are syncing with my personal calendars on all my devices. It's also very easy to set up because all the calendars I use can integrate with Google Calendar. Do you have a simpler setup? Would love to hear about it. If you have won a Noteful promo code, congratulations again. Please don't forget to contact us on social media, Instagram or Facebook, to collect your promo code. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you. Fantastic human.
for watching. See you in the next video.